I couldn't wait to kick off this new series called Forgotten Lions about players that are kind of forgotten in Lions history by the youth or maybe by some old timers, man. And today we're going to talk about a player from the HBCU known as South Carolina State who holds multiple sack, sack records for the Detroit Lions. I believe he still holds a single sack record uh, for a season at 15. I believe as well he, ha he is the overall sack leader of the Detroit Lions. 95 and a half big sacks for the Lions, 603 tackles. Let's talk about Mr. Robert Porsche. One of my fondest memories about my Lions childhood, Robert Porsche was an excellent player. He was drafted out of South Carolina State to play D tackle. He convinced Wayne Foss to move on the outside and move Ellis on the inside. It proved to be a really, really strong move for the Lions. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And says Porsche, um, you know, uh, perhaps best recognized as a standout for the Detroit Lions, 6'3", 275-pound defensive end. Brashe was a dominant pass rush specialist and defensive leader. During much of his 13-year career, he was one of the league's most productive and feared defensive ends. Originally a first-round draft choice in 1992 from South Carolina State University. He also was a Q-Dog. Brashe played in 187 games as third all-time in Detroit history and set team records with 95 and a half quarterback sacks during his career. He led the Detroit in sacks eight times, also Detroit record. He also became the first Lion recorded double-digit sack totals in four consecutive seasons from 96 to 99. Porsche earned trips to the Pro Bowl, 98, 2000, 2001. Um, all Pro 97, 99, and 2001. First team All NFC in 1999. And, um, you know, his uh, 670, 673 career tackles are ranked seventh in Detroit Lions history. And Porsche garnered a 68, sack, 68 sacks during that six year period from 96 to 01, which was the second highest in the NFL during that span. You know, and he went over underrated. He went underrated just as Lomas Brown also complained because the Lions didn't win. They won the Central Division in 93. His rookie year, they went 5-11. and 11. That's when they came off their NFC Championship game and lost to the Washington Redskins, I believe, in 91. 92, they stumbled. 93, they won the division. But the Lions just didn't win. Had they won, Robert Porsche would definitely be in the Hall of Fame. He was just productive. He was a beast. And he kind of, you know, was one of the first Lions to go from outside, from inside to outside, or kind of make that line change. He convinced Wayne Fonts to, when they drafted uh, Luther Ellis out of Utah, to switch Luther on the inside of him on the out. He was 275 pounds, and he, he felt that he was better suited to be a defensive end than Ellis to be a tackle. Under that, Ellis had a lot of sacks. He made a couple Pro Bowls with that switch. And I just named that you what Robert Porsche did on Sundays. You know, I knew Robert Porsche was going to bring it. His intensity, um, you know, his fiery, his fiery, fieriness, you know, and just, you know, he was, he was, he was a guy that you look forward to playing on Sundays. Him, Herman, Barry, you know, just a lot of guys, man. He said his biggest regret was not getting the Lions back to the NFC Championship game. And he was a leader. You know what I'm saying? He reminds you of what a Dominican Sue was just with more leadership qualities of being a vocal leader. You know, he paid, he played with passion and he still got business in Detroit. And, and also him and him and Barry show, shared, you know, some workout regiments, you know, Barry told him how to stretch 10 minutes before going to bed. You know, Barry Sanders used to run gassers after practice. He followed that. And the Lions have some really, really good guys, man. Just outstanding citizens that we just couldn't get over the hump. Herman was just a great fucking guy, man. Robert Porsche was a great guy. Barry was a great guy. Calvin was a great guy. Matthew Stafford is a, is a great guy. You don't hear too much bad from anybody. You know, sometimes you can you can talk to fans and, oh, this dude dissed me. I remember one of my boys, homeboy, seeing Calvin after the uh, the rule at Soldier Field, the Calvin Johnson rule where, you know, remember Stafford got knocked out and Sean Hill threw that, uh, he threw that touchdown. And, um, you know, they said uh, Barry Sanders dropped it. And he said he seen Barry at the, at the, he seen Calvin, excuse me, Calvin dropped it. He seen Calvin at the gas station. He was like, Calvin, that was a catch. He said, Calvin was cool as hell. And we had some of the, the coolest teammates, man. Some of the two coolest dudes on the squad, man. Johnny Morton was a nice guy. 
you know, say what you want to say about Andre Ware and Rodney Pete, and you want to say about uh, um, who else we got in there? Uh, Charlie Batch. It was some really, really nice guys, man. They came through this organization, man. And Robert Roche was one of the most underrated lions. And part of me believes that the brother should have been in the Hall of Fame. Him and uh, Lomas Brown should have definitely been in the Hall of Fame. And, you know, the Lions' inability to win <laughs> just stopped him from being able to the Hall of Fame. They would have went to one Super Bowl and, and won some more playoff games. And the one playoff game they lost, I know you was wondering, if you don't remember, in 93 when they won the Central Division, was to the Green Bay Packers 10-7. to You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he had a really, really lengthy career. You know, NFL usually stand not for long. And to play that long with a franchise that went with so many ups and downs and made so many bad choices as general manager and the draft and the head coaches, just let you know how passionate he was. And he wasn't one of the dudes that went to De- came to Detroit and left. He still got businesses and restaurants, and, you know, he's still investing into the city of Detroit. So Robert Porsche was one of my favorite lines. So I started off with one of my favorite lines, a forgotten guy, I think, I don't get enough credit. One of my homeboys down there in the DMV was, uh, you know, I think he was at a friend house or, excuse me, his wife was related to Robert Porsche or something he was telling me. And I remember him telling me that and taking a picture saying, this dude is sitting right next to me and he know I love the Lions to death. So uh, shout out to Robert Porsche for kicking off our Forgotten Lions series. I'm going to have a playlist for it, man. So let me know what you guys remember about Robert Porsche. Or if you don't remember, let me know. But uh, Robert Porsche was an animal and one of the greatest and proudest lines that we do have. So shout out to him. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you got business questions, car response, your video question, you want to chop it up. Twitter is the fastest way. Then Facebook and Instagram. Want to make a donation? Cash out, PayPal, in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video one time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. Look out for our 